This tutorial is, all about articles, part 1. The colors and pictures on your own pages may be different to those in this movie. However the functions are identical. We assume, you have watched the movies, introduction to the front end and, introduction to the back end. You should watch these first. You will have learned in those movies that articles, are the primary way content is displayed on your website, in the form of text and images. Pages such as Welcome, About Us, Product and Services, News, etc. are in fact articles. In this tutorial, we explain, how your website and private network, stores information. It's not unlike the way files, including images, and documents are stored on your computer. On it, you create files, then place them inside folders. These folders can be placed inside other folders, and so on. We use the same logical process on your website. We create content items called articles. We put articles into categories, which are conceptually like computer folders. As with computer folders you can nest categories inside other categories. Remembering however, not to make the structure complex. Let's assume, we want to add a whole section to our website, that includes content in these categories. There'll be a category called, Our Society. Inside that, there'll be two subcategories, called History and Geography. And inside History, the category is Ancient, and Modern. Articles can be stored in any of these categories, as we'll explain in Articles Part 2. But that comes later, now we'll create this category structure on your, website. Go to the back end, via your bookmarked URL. Alternatively use your menu link to admin panel. When ready, click login. The category manager is in the articles tab, scroll down and click its title to open it. You can also use this quick link, it does the same thing. You're now, in the category manager. The titles, of existing categories, are listed. Your list may occupy, several pages. There is some information about each one. For example who will be able to view it, the public, registered users etc. For now, we don't need to worry about this stuff. And these are action, and option, buttons and menus. We'll assume none of the existing categories suit our purpose. Therefore to create a new category, click on the new button. Clicking on new, opens this form, where you supply details, about the new category. Type the category's name in the title box. Now, we need to take a closer look, at this parent field. Parent refers to the category, hierarchy. We drew ours, in an earlier chart. If you recall, our society is at the top of our new hierarchy. Therefore it has no parent. There are other fields you could enter. But for this, they aren't required, we'll keep this lesson simple. So, move to the options menu on the right, and click on save and close. The system takes you back to the category list, and indicates, the category has been created and saved. At the bottom of the list of categories, we'll find our new one. Now to add the rest of them. In the right hand options and menu buttons of category manager, find and again click new. As before, type the category's name, in the title box. Geography does have, a parent. It's, our society. So we must, open the list box, scroll down, and select it. Then go over, to the action buttons and menu on the right. We know. We have three more categories to add. The system has shortcuts, to help productivity. This is one, click on save and new. The shortcut bypassed the list view, and came straight to, add a new category page. Note, the system tells you, the category was successfully created. As you did before, type the next, new category's name, in the title box. Again, open the list box. Scroll down to our society, and select it, to tell the system it is history's parent. As you did before, go to, the right hand buttons, and menu. 
and once again, we can use the shortcut, therefore click on save and new. As we saw earlier, we've come straight to an add new category page, and been notified that the next new category was added successfully. We're now familiar with, typing the category's name in the title box. But now, when it comes to choosing parent, we realize, we have to make, a different choice. Have you noticed, our new categories, already show, the intended hierarchy? The category ancient, is in the category history. Therefore we must select, accordingly. Once more, go to the action buttons and menu, on the right. And again click on save and new. Add the last of our new categories names in the title box. And, as we've done before, from the drop down box, select the correct parent, for this last category. And for the last time, go to the action buttons and menu on the right. But now, we've added all the new categories therefore, this time click on save and close. Now we're back in category manager, and we'll find our new categories at the bottom of the list. We can also see, how each subcategory is indented, indicating that the category above, is its parent. Just as we intended. If you ever need to edit a category, from category manager, click on the category title, you want to edit. And an editor window opens. Use an appropriate button, to close, or save and close, when finished. It's important to close pages as you've been shown in these movies. If you don't, you might encounter this symbol. To prevent database errors, the system ensures, only one administrator can update, any individual file, at a given point in time. When you don't correctly close the file, it remains checked out, and it can't be edited. Luckily, the problem is easily fixed. Just click on the padlock and you will check the file in. To recap, the storage system, puts articles into categories. Categories are conceptually like, the folders on your computer. They can be nested inside categories, as subcategories. They are created, and edited, in the category manager. They must be created, before articles, are created. One final point, you may be able to use the existing category structure, or you may only need one extra category. Your requirement depends on, the result you want. Thank you. You may now close this box.